very convenient way of dealing with them uh, is to group them under their different classifications. So if I don't answer the um, various shades of meaning that may appear in different questions, it is because uh, life is very limited. Now, the, a large number of questions are up on... Can't you hear back there still? <clears throat> I must be getting old. I want to know what is the Ministry of Health's attitude to this um, problem. Well, my answer is that I would prefer, if possible, to have a system of payment by results. But this... But the, but this, this, <laughs> no, I know you don't. But this, <laughs> but this, um, uh, this is entirely a matter for negotiation with the trade unions. Uh, it's not possible for me to impose, nor indeed would I want to impose any system of wage payment with which the unions and the men do not wish to cooperate. But I would like to point out that there is very considerable division of opinion about this in the building industry itself. <laughs> and I would also like to point out to some building, building workers that there are some systems of payment by result go on now. And you know it very well. <laughs> now, it's not going to be possible for me to argue each one of these so as to be able to convince you as I go along. So that therefore you must take my opinion as my opinion. And as the, ch as the, as the chairman says, if you de disagree about it, well, it's a free country. <laughs> <laughs> now, the other group of questions are on the essential works order. Yeah, all of them express the opinion that the essential works order uh, is a deterrent to quick building. Well, there are a variety of views about this too. If the essential works order remains upon some form of building, we must have the power to apply it to other forms of building. If you if you're as quick on the job as you are on the questions, you're pretty good. <laughs> when there are people without homes. And uh, I am pressing the local authorities to use their requisitioning powers much more widely. But um, there, that comes back entirely to a question of sympathetic local authorities. And that's a job that we can pay some attention to. Now, land nationalization. Well, uh, there, we have before the House at the present time a bill which I introduced a short while ago, which will give local authorities very quick powers for acquiring land for houses. In fact, when that bill goes through, the lack of land will not any longer be a reason for holding up houses. Because the local authorities have a question here, which I've had at a number of conferences before, about the 3 and 1 8 percent charge on housing loans. And the assumption is that housing loans ought to be free of interest. Well, the answer is that it wouldn't make any difference to the local authority because if the housing loans were free of interest, the subsidies would be lower. A subsidy to the local authority for house houses uh, is in order to take care of the cost of the house. And if the cost of the house were reduced by the government providing interest-free loans, then the, there would not be so high a subsidy and the local authority would be in exactly the same position. So that in fact, the local authority, that you'll know everything about all the houses in Great Britain at the end of it. <laughs> and and, and uh, I want to warn you that, uh, remember, that this report is a report provided by the government in the worst month of the winter before we have had a building season to build houses in. So that we are stripping ourselves stark naked when we have very little flesh on our bones. 
But um, from then on, from, the, from, from then on, housing reports will be published every month. And this time, at the, very be at the beginning, in order that the people may see what their local authorities are doing, the housing progress of every local authority in Great Britain will appear in the report. That's about 70 pages. The need at the present time is to build houses for poor people. I am not prepared to associate myself with a policy where well-to-do people can afford to build luxury homes and poor people go without homes. Yeah. And therefore, houses had to be built to rent and not to sell. Because it doesn't seem to have dawned upon some people in this country that the vast majority of us can't afford to buy a house. Uh, there is a school of thought, you know, that believes that if a thing is scarce, it ought to be dear. Although it doesn't cost any more to produce it than if it were plentiful. And therefore, there are large numbers of people who believe that the shortage of houses ought to be a great opportunity for a small number of people to make great fortunes at the expense of the community. They say houses are scarce, therefore, let's put up the price. Now, that's all right from the point of view of orthodox economics. But this isn't an orthodox government, and I'm not an orthodox minister of health. 